Hey everybody, welcome to another Things I Hate, where we talk about games that have multiple problems. Today we're going with Sonic Heroes, so let's begin. One of the first things I wanted to talk about is the levels. You see, you have to play as all four teams, and unfortunately, that means playing through every single level four times. That's a total of 56 times. 56 times you'll be seeing all the levels together. And because there's not really much change or alterations between the levels, things are going to get really boring really fast. I mean, sure, Team Rose's missions are the shortest and Team Chaotix are more objective-based, the fact that you're still seeing these same levels over and over again without much change at all gets really boring after a while. You can only you can only experience the casino highway so much before you just lose your mind. The second thing I want to talk about is the Chaos Emeralds. The Chaos Emeralds can only be acquired once you've collected the second key in the second stage of each zone and then do the special stage that goes along with it. Unfortunately, the special stage is absolute crap. You're essentially just chasing down the Chaos Emerald, and when you get balloons, you increase your boost gauge. But if you land into a bomb, you lose your boost gauge and get very slow. And so many times doing the special stage, my frame rate would just go to absolute crap. So I would get even further behind the Chaos Emerald than I was supposed to. And I bet you're like, okay, if you fail, you could just hit restart or something, right? No. You have to go back to the level you got the key from, get the key, make it to the level without dying, and then do the entire special stage all over again and again. And no, you can't just repeat the easiest special stage to get the key. No, no, no. Each zone has its own key, so... It just gets worse from here. And did I forget to mention that you need to get all the Chaos Emeralds to actually beat the game's final story? Fantastic. The final thing I want to talk about with this game is grind rails. Grind rails were essentially something to be really cool to look at and fun to do in the game. Unfortunately, in actuality, it works very poorly. As it's supposed to be like a quick button press between rail to rail, but oftentimes, more than not, you'll end up flinging past the rail to your doom or missing it entirely. Which sucks, especially when there's a whole world dedicated to the grind rails. This is why I had to go with using tails a lot of times during these rails, because while it sucks to get to these grind rails and not die, at least with tails, I have half a chance to maybe fly back to the rail and live instead of just plumbing to my doom you would think that this is something they would look into to make sure it was at least doable or better than what it is but I, I guess grinding on rails is just not cool anymore who knew and there you have it that's all my thoughts on Sonic Heroes what you guys like or is there something that I forgot to talk about, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. If you have any lovely ideas of games you'd like to see me talk about, you know, let me know. And other than that, I will catch you guys on the next one. Till then, I've been Ace. Have a good day. See you later. Bye.